Uh, we used to go on like Jeep rides and stuff like that. So we used to go there and sneak out of the house and jump in a Jeep. He would like pull up in the neighbor's driveway and then like park behind my dad's garage. So like if my parents did look out the window, they still wouldn't see like a car. <laughs> Yeah, so she's hop in, we used to just drive the back roads, or I used to drive up the back way to Steak and Shake and get uh, ice cream and stuff. I always try to date her or whatever, ask her out to hang out, but she always blew me off. So, <laughs> so he took me to a friend's party. Um, Max Hunglers, and it was at his grandma's, and <laughs> we just hung out and we had fun. And then, like the next thing I knew, I was calling people like uh, Greg Hopper, just kiss me, and they're like, "Oh my God, that should have happened 12 years ago!" Like you know, and I'm like, "No, what do I do?" And she started freaking out, and she wouldn't talk to me for like a, another week or so. <laughs> she was scared to uh, actually date me, and uh, she finally gave in. So her friends were kept telling her. It's clear how much you love her and you show her the you know, respect that she deserves. Even though you didn't ask for my permission before you um, proposed to her, you know, you let her be the person that, that she is naturally and you know, let her be whoever she wants to be, which I think is the best person in the whole world. Just remember that you know, if you ever need to show her you're sorry, always bring her some sunflowers. And if you want to prove that you've learned your lesson, make sure you bring her some butter noodles. Baby. Mm. Your eyes, baby. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. I missed you. I, from the get-go, wanted to get married here. We have all of our friends and everyone's helped and been so great. It's more than I imagined. I'm very, I'm very simple, you know, and I just like the fact that it was at my parents' home, and I love this place, it's beautiful, and, and then we live 10 minutes down the road, so it's like perfect. I just can't wait for everyone to come. <laughs> I just can't believe today is today. And I heard through the grapevine that Gregory's dad, Tom, may or may not have said, one of you boys needs to date this girl. <laughs> wide-eyed soul searching high and low when I found you on that day then the answer was clear at this time Bridget and Gregory will exchange soil the soil is from the homes of their parents it symbolizes unity in their families and their strong roots as the two become one. I'm gonna love you forever. Forever young together. The world is changing all around. But I find my solid ground. I'm gonna love you forever from now. I humbly give you my hand and my heart. I want to learn from you as we grow old. I promise to love you just as you are. I will honor you and tenderly care for you. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you. I promise to honor and tenderly care for you. I will cherish and encourage you as an individual. I will do my best to make you happy throughout our entire life. I'm gonna love you forever. He had asked me, he said, oh, you know, let's go to dinner. Uh, I'm getting off work early, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's awesome. But afterwards, I have to go meet my friends. And he's like, all right, but you have to go to dinner. I was like, okay. 
Tom, Greg's dad, always greets me, your dad. Like, if I pull up, he like comes outside to talk to me. And so I pull up and like no one's, like it's like all quiet, like no one's there and I'm like, okay. I'm gonna love you forever. We will never surrender. With every wave in my soul, with every move of my bones, I'm gonna love you forever from now. Greg is the type of friend that you can just call up and say, hey, you wanna grab a beer? He will. She puts up with a lot of our shenanigans. Shenanigans is how it is. Luckily, they live right down the road, so she's gonna be putting up with it for a whole lot longer. made a sign for her that said marry me out of Christmas lights and I put it back field. She hopped in the truck and we just backed up there and we're sitting there talking for a while and then... The fireworks are going so I'm looking up in the sky and I think that like I literally I thought to myself I was like I was like I feel like something's gonna happen like he's asked me to marry him so I'm looking in the sky for her to say marry me. I was like do you not see that you know five foot sign out there and she's like oh! <laughs> By the power vested in me, Universal Life Church and the internet, <laughs> and by the state of Indiana, I pronounce you husband and wife. Gregory, you may now kiss the bride.